Good morning, Good morning and thank you for joining the parishes of Cornwall Union and Garton for Prayers at Home. If you have the Church of Ireland Book of Common Prayer or our liturgy card for morning prayer, it'd be helpful to have that in front of you. Uh, in the Book of Common Prayer, it's on page 101. And if you don't have the words, don't worry, you can still listen and join in in your heart for God sees the prayers of our hearts. Today, Reverend David will be given uh, a short talk about the Beatitudes, God's promises to bless us. And it is Remembrance Sunday, so we will be saying prayers about that. So as we begin, let's remember that God is with each one of us wherever we are today. Let's pray. God, our Father, we thank you that you know us and that you love us. And we pray that by your Holy Spirit, you would bring to us what we need today. Bring us your word and feed us with yourself, we pray. Amen. Amen. So on the liturgy card or on the, in the Book of Common Prayer, page 101. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A verse from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And as we begin this morning, we remember that we have failed God uh, and we need to confess this to him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, we, we have sinned, sinned against you and against, against our neighbour neighbor in thought and word and, and deed, deed, through negligence, through weakness, to our own deliberate fault, by what, by what we, we have done, done and by what, what we have failed to do. We are, are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And our reading today is from the Gospel of Matthew, <coughs> chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. Now, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad. Because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, those are lovely sentiments, aren't they? Very well known, those sayings from the, uh, from the Beatitudes. When Jesus is just starting his earthly ministry, he'd grown up um, from a virgin, after a virgin birth. 
he'd uh, been working with his father and then finally he knew it was time when the father in heaven wanted him to begin his ministry and many people love some of those sentiments blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted blessed are the merciful for they will be shown mercy blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called children of god this is the bit the first start of a lengthy piece of teaching that jesus gave uh, in matthew's gospel um, beginning with these beatitudes and going on the sermon on the mount and where jesus really talks through a lot of the principles of how we can live good lives and be uh, in live harmoniously with each other and be close to god it's really important <clears throat> and of course we can re relate these to the situations where there is a need for peacekeeping or where there is actual warfare where people try to make peace where people have need to be comforted and we remember this morning not just that so many young men were killed in war and in peacekeeping activities from Donegal but also the many families who mourn their loss and loved ones, maybe girlfriends or wives, fiancés, all the tragedies. And God says that even in these dire, dire situations, he can comfort us by his holy presence with us, his Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the lovely sentiments, they're almost poetic, but they're even more than that. Because Jesus had, is God, become a human being, living an ordinary life, and then spending a few years telling us about God, the Father and the Spirit, and also telling us about how to live well and how to be close, close to God. And eventually, of course, sacrificing his own life on that cross to restore us, to pay for our sins. So we could, God could forgive us, as we heard when we started this service. These are more than sentiments, they're promises, and the promises not just of a human being, but a human being who was actually God become human. God's blessings are for us as we make our way through life, whether we go into those awful situations we remember in Remembrance Day, or whether we face the normal challenges and pleasures of life as a human being on earth. Being poor in spirit can be something we face in tragedy. It can also be something we face in our ordinary lives, can't it? And the hardships we face sometimes, uh, or the temptations we face, can be in conflict, but also just in ordinary life, where we come into conflict, or we're tempted by things we know we shouldn't do, but it's as we trust and follow Jesus in whatever we have to face in our lives, Jesus promises to bless us and to help us. And he doesn't just make even promises just to bless us, but he, to bless us by bringing, despite, to bless us despite those things, he can bless us through the tragedies and the difficulties and the embarrassments and the fallings out and having to make up. Through those things, we can learn and often we grow more in our appreciation, for instance, of Jesus's death and his sacrifice for our sins when we've fallen badly and need to be restored. And we can really appreciate more what it means to live harmoniously in peace when we've fallen out or somebody else has with us. And we need to make that effort to put the relationship right as God wants. And it's when we realise that we really aren't up to it and feel poor in spirit that we can come to God and know that he will enrich us by his promises and his holy presence, his Holy Spirit with us. So today we remember, remember those many men mostly who lost their lives in war and peacekeeping and we remember what they had to do 
even though sometimes the causes or the reasons for these war or even peacekeeping may be um, not always completely just and true. They had to do the best they could in those circumstances. And just like us in this world, which isn't perfect, where everything is a little bit more complicated than we wish, we too can be blessed through Jesus as we follow and trust him and ask for his help. And as we battle for the one true and just and righteous cause, the kingdom of God, where everything is perfect and where everyone is loved and everyone is righteous and treated justly. There's a wee prayer in the third column of this weekly sheet, if you have it. Um, I'm just going to pray that, thanking God for all his power. God of peace, whose Son, Jesus Christ, proclaimed thy kingdom and restored the broken to wholeness of life. Look with compassion on the anguish of this world and by thy healing power make whole both people and nations. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour and our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, David. And on page 112, or on the liturgy card, we say the prayers together. And as we pause, we remember those we know who are sick and those who mourn. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who Our art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide and defend our rulers. And grant our government wisdom. Let your ministers be clothed with righteousness. And let your servants shout for joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless those whom you have chosen. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And let your glory be over all the earth. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And renew us by your Holy Spirit. And there are some responses to the following prayers. When I say, Lord, in your mercy, the response is, hear our prayer. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the leaders of the nations, that you will guide them in the ways of freedom, justice and truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who bear arms on behalf of the nation, including Irish service personnel currently serving abroad on peacekeeping missions, that you will protect them and give them discipline, discernment, courage and compassion. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for our enemies, for those who wish us harm, that you would turn the hearts of all to kindness and friendship. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the wounded and captive from all conflicts around the world, for the grieving and the homeless, that in all their trials they may know your love and support. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Most holy God, hear our prayers for all who strive for peace and all who fight for justice. Help us who today remember the cost of war, to work for a better tomorrow. And as we commend to you lives lost in terror and conflict, bring us all in the end to the eternal peace of your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Collect for Remembrance Sunday, which can be found on the weekly sheet. Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of all, govern the hearts and minds of those in authority and bring the families of the nations, divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin, to be subject to his just and gentle rule, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And on the service card or page 114 in the book, the college beginning, Heavenly Father. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, in, in whom we live and move and have, have our being, we humbly pray that, that your, your Holy Spirit, Spirit may so guide and govern us that in all the cares and occupations of our daily lives, we may never forget your presence, but may remember that we are always walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God that passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Well, as I mentioned, today is Remembrance Sunday, and uh, maybe children have made some poppies. You would like to bring those to church. That would be wonderful. Uh, this Thursday is a... The Commonwealth Vestry meeting that's taking place in the church. And Commonwealth Vestry has produced this beautiful calendar for 2022. It has some lovely pictures of Donegal along with inspirational thoughts. Uh, if you would like one, please contact us or a Vestry member. They are only 10 euros. Very well worth getting one for your kitchen and for a family member. So do get in touch with us about those calendars. And the proceeds go to parish funds. Thank you for being with us today. We do hope that you can join us again soon. Uh, so from Reverend David and I, God bless and goodbye.